say hi from Cherish Math. Today we're going to deal with the question number five and here is the diagram. The diagram shows a water trough in the shape of a prism. The prism has a cross section in the shape of an isosceles trapezium. The trough is completely filled with water. Part A show that the volume of the water in the trough is 206.4 liters. First step by converting the length of the trough to centimeter. I will just need to do by multiplying 100 and I produce 120 centimeter as the length of the trough. Now we need to find what is the area of this trapezium. After that we use the area to multiply the length of this trough which is at 120 centimeter that shows the entire volume of the trough. Now here it goes. We are using one half multiply 36 plus 50 and multiply the height of the trough which is 40. This is the area of the trapezium. Now we are using the area of the trapezium multiply 120 as the length of the trough and the answer that we are getting here by using a calculator is in fact 206400 cm cube and by dividing it with 1000 we are changing it into the unit of liter that turns 206.4 liter part b the water from the trough is empty at a rate of 600 ml per second calculate the time taken in minutes and seconds for the trough to be empty now we are looking at a 600 ml which is equivalent to 600 centimeter cube and we are going to use the number that we got earlier here which is 206,400 to be divided by the 600 ml and we are getting the time required to empty the trough which is 344 seconds we are using this figure To be divided by 60 and we are changing the unit into the minute instead of second that turns 5 and 11 over 15 minute next step we have to change everything here into minute and second that would be 5 minute and for the part of the fraction which is 11 over 15 to be multiplied by 60 and we changing it into seconds so the answer would be 5 minutes and 44 seconds as the answer Question 5, Part C. All the water from the trough if empty into a vertical cylindrical tank. The depth of the water in the tank is 84 cm. Now, calculate the radius of the tank. The height of this cylindrical tank is given as 84 cm. We are trying to use the base area of this tang which is a circle pi r square multiplied by the height here is actually 84 and we are getting the volume of the cylindrical tank here which is equivalent to the value that we obtain from the part a of this question and now we need to find what is the value of the r here which is the radius by rearranging the equation 
R square is the same as this value divided by 84 pi. It is just simply by using the cross multiplication. Now, the value of the R is in fact 206,400 divided by the 84 pi and we have to take the entire value here at its square root. Now, R we are getting finally here with 28 cm. Part C2. The tank is 60% full. Calculate the height of the tank. Now, 60%, it stands for the height of 84 centimeter. That means if let's say 100% full, that will be the height that I represent it in the page. So, if I use this information and to divide it and equate it to each other, that turns out something like this. So, we have to find what is the value of the H, which is the height of the cylindrical tank. Now, we try to work it out now. So the value of H is in fact, cross multiply the values will be 5 times 84 divided by 3. The value of the H is 140 centimeter. And this is our answer. Part D, a steel rod AM is placed inside the empty water trough as shown in the diagram. A is a vertex at the base of the isosceles trapezium and M is the midpoint of the top edge on the opposite face. Calculate the length of the steel rod AM. Now we need to connect dash line from the vertex A to the point of M. To show the location e to the c here is actually 36 centimeter now i label here as the point b from this vertex that i'm pointing here to b stands for 18 centimeter i got the 18 centimeter from the 36 which is AC divided by 2 and I get 18, exactly half of it. And I will have to find the next measurement here. 1.2 meter, it is in fact, by multiplying to 100 is equivalent to 120 centimeter. And this is the entire length of the trough. We can use this length to find what is the value of the AB by using the theorem Pythagoras. So AB is in fact, we are using the square root for the value of 120 which is from A until the end here. Square it up plus 18 and square it up. So the value of AB that we got it here is actually 121.3425. The last step, we need to find what is the value of AM and again, we are using the theorem Pythagoras to solve our question here. That would be 40 square, which is the height BM is the same as this 40 cm plus the value that we got it from here square it up and take the entire square root of it. So the value of AM in our solution is 128 cm.
thanks for watching and please subscribe